for football, alcohol, and Jesus in that order. And I love Jesus, but it's in that order. Scariest NFL player. I'll say uh, J.J. Watt, man. Dude's a beast. Yeah, Jamie Watts, bro. That motherfucker's crazy, bro. What's your boyfriend's name? <laughs> J.J. Watt, you know he's a workhorse. He works out. The guy doesn't go out at night. He doesn't really drink that much. Eddie Lacy, he will kill you if you're not careful. Ben Roethlisberger, because... No, me, no! <laughs> so I want to scare other people. It would have to be Kaepernick. Richard Sherman. Mostly just he's a mouthpiece and he's just scary. Sherman! I mean, Sherman is the best. He talks all the shit. He scares everybody. See, that had to be the ugliest Raider player out there. Ooh, which one would that be? I don't even know because they're all ugly. <laughs> I think C.J. Mosley, that guy's a monster. If they're not scared of him, they will be. <laughs> Anquan Bolden, because he gets up and he when he's pissed, like you don't want to mess with him. Like He looks terrified. I know I'm a Browns fan, but Bay man, he scares me. <laughs> he can score whatever he wants. And Dominican Sue? I don't know, maybe, just because he's a mean-ass bastard. <laughs> you know it. Dominican Sue, baby! Woo! I think the Dominican Sue is pretty scary. I don't want him like, twisting Very my ankle rate. or anything like that. Who that? Who that? Who that said to go beat them Saints? Who that? Yeah. God bless the Who That Nation and the Who That's of New Orleans and uh, keep us in your prayers and let's just do this. Yeah. Kind of messed it up in the last quarter, but you can't really put it on one play. No, I'm not writing the team off because right now it's really all about the division. Uh, Carolina lost, Atlanta lost. So as long as we uh, play for that divisional spot. Let's go Raiders! Let's go Raiders! We just got married in Los Angeles and uh, used to live in LA. And I had a bunch of family from Maryland come out and we wanted to finish off our wedding weekend with coming out to the West Wing and watching the Ravens beat the Falcons. Flacco, five touchdowns a week ago and back and running. Less than four minutes in, hits Owen Day. I have so whack over Flacco, okay? And you know what? When I don't yell it so loud that I love him, I don't think he hit me. I think that's when he fumbles the ball, and I think that's when he gets sacked. They killed the Falcons. Destroyed the Falcons. Yeah, we did. Just smack them around. So we were pressuring Matt Ryan all day. Flacco just looks so damn good. So damn good. It's a handsome man. We're at 5 4. Yeah. Because we saw the Ravens win, we wanted to just come see how depressed. Saints fans feel after they got just beat today. We need to clean some stuff up. Uh, I think start the run game, get the run game going, you know, keep the beat, get that going, and then the rest of it falls into play. So, go with our game plan, get back to it, we'll be alright. Not too well for us right now. They're kind of they're kind of lagging a little bit, you know. I don't know. Today was the rats. Today was all the rats. Like they, it's just play after play after play, like like like. We gotta play two teams at once. The rats, the Rams, all in one. They got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. Hey, they hey, they're on it. You saw it come out, right? You saw that, yeah. I saw it. That's a change of possession. That's a beautiful view. So that was uh, the Seattle Seahawks versus the St. Louis referees. That was so fucking corrupt. It's a, hard, it's a hard loss to swallow because I feel like we got cheated out of a, a chance. We got really, we got cheated out of a chance. They were ahead, so they had, the, they had the lead, but we got cheated out of a very good chance. This is a tough down. I'm getting ready to go watch my Broncos kick some butt. I've been away for a little while, so they're probably going to have missed me over there at Outpost. We're fucking, we're fucking back. I can't go watch the football without the you know, I let them ladies know what I'm all about when I go over to Outpost. We're getting ready to go watch the Broncos. <laughs> Diet are you on these days, Max? Yeah, well, you know, it was his dying wish to see a Bronco bar, and that's what we made for him, right, boys? Let's go, Bronco! Will he reach the magic?
number tonight. Who's going to be the one that breaks the record? Be Julius Thomas. Hopefully Emmanuel Sanders since he's on my fantasy team. Okay. Number 88, Demarius Thomas. <laughs> DT, number 88. Julius Thomas is where it's at. Emmanuel Sanders for 509. I'm saying Sanders. And he's on my fantasy team, so fingers crossed. Okay, we got this play right here. He's going to break the record. We got the Bronco fans all ready for it. And now he comes in at Demarius Thomas. What did I say? He got him. I called DT, baby. 88. Let's go, Bronco!